Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced Tutorial. Here we are starting a new sub series file system watcher component. So, this is the example we will create to track the uh, changes in the file system using this uh, file system watcher component. So the file system watcher component, so this is a component that means this will not occupy any space in your uh, form design. It's a component and uh, like a control you will drag and drop this component into your form and the component stays in the bottom area to denote uh, it's a component and it won't occupy any space in your uh, form. Alright, so this file system watcher component can track the changes in the file system. So here we are talking about the changes, right? So the changes include creating the file, that means a new file is created and deleting a file. These are all the changes made to the file system. So the file system before the change say for example if we take a creating a file the windows operating system maintains let's say 20,000 files after this file is created there is a addition of one file 20,000 one file that means it's a change to the file system so deleting a file so that's also a change renaming the file previously the file is a and the file got changed to B so that's also a change and changing the file content is also considered as a change to the file system the content of the file is changed suppose if it is b.txt some content is added deleted or modified so so these are all the changes and with this file system watcher component we can track all these changes file system watcher component can track files on a specific folder so we can specify a folder and track the changes on that specific folder it can also track files on the subfolder say for example this is the folder structure a is the parent folder contains folder b and folder b contains folder d and let's say a contains one more folder c on the same level so file system watcher component can track files on a specific folder suppose in this specific folder a if we have three files any changes made to these files can be tracked so there are three files any changes these four set of changes on all these three files can be tracked why because here we specify a path on a specific path you can track the uh, file changes or you can track the changes on the subfolder as well suppose if we take b all the file changes on this b folder as well as it's a subfolder d so both can be tracked so you can track file changes for a specific folder or you can ask the file system watcher to watch for the file changes on this specific folder as well as its subfolder or we can say track the file changes recursively on all the subfolder one can watch the entire partition with one file system component that means here we specify path as c root and we will ask include subfolder as well so that means here you are watching the file system changes for the entire C drive. So this includes file, I mean the file system modification done by the operating system and any of the background services as well. So let's assume that your system is having only two partitions C and D. So only two partition only two partition in your computer and 
to track your entire computer for the file system changes, you can use uh, two components, two file system component, one dedicated for uh, C drive and another one dedicated for D drive. So this way, two components, two file system watcher component together will watch for the file system changes on your entire computer system. So most frequently, file system will be watched for a specific folder. Say for example, if you want to include an example, uh, let's say you are installing some program in your location, program files, x86 or something, then a program ABC you are installing. And with this file system watcher component, you can watch for this specific folder. So during the installation, if a file is uh, added, you can track all those stuff or if some file got modified during the reinstall or repair operation, you can watch that as well. So the file system comp watcher will be useful in this situation or let's say you are running a, uh, your corporate application, a big application and under the working directory, you don't know where it is writing some of the log entry. So there you can watch the root of your uh, installation folder and you can watch for the file system changes when you are performing specific workflow. So all the stuff you can do with this uh, file system watcher component. So the properties are you can specify a path to the file system watcher component. With this property we can set which path to monitor the file system. So if you specify C colon ABC then the file system will be watched on or monitored on C the folder ABC and all the files or subfolder that comes inside that ABC. So if you specify only the path all the file system changes on that specific path will get monitored. If you want to monitor all the subfolders then you have to use this uh, include subdirectories. So first you have to set the path then you should tell include subdirectories of this path as well. So does tracking involves a subdirectory as well? Yes. Let's run this uh, boolean property and if you set it true we will be getting yes. That means all subdirectory needs to be watched. By default yes will be false and by setting true or false you can decide all right then this is one more important property that means you have to do it before using this component enable rising event so when set to true sends notification when the file system changes notification in the sense it will raise some events and based on those events you will get to know uh, what are all the changes done on the file system. So that means we need to know the events. The events are created. So it get fired when new file is created, deleted. So you know, renamed. Fires when file was renamed, changed. So this event will get fired when file content is changed. So if you see operating system is recording all these file system changes, right? Let's say this is a.txt file and this is the content and let's say you are modifying a particular line. So it won't fire changed event at this moment. The moment you save this file content, that means the change is committed and if you are using a file allocation tab FAT32 or 64, the change will get recorded. So that means during that time it will fire this event. File content got changed. Why? Because you saved it and it is recorded. That means once you restart the Windows operating system, still you can see the uh, changes made to this file. So that's all. So these are all the properties and this is the events. And using this, we can create a file monitoring utility within uh, 
one or two over so here there is uh, no demo just now you saw the basics of the component that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye